Number 18, determine the oxidation states of the elements in the compounds listed, and none of the oxygen-containing compounds are peroxides or superoxides. In this case, we don't have any oxygen, so who cares? <laughs> but in, in any case, we have to find out the oxidation state for titanium, Ti, not the wrapper. <laughs> is, he, is he out of the game? I don't know. Where, where has Ti been? Uh, so Ti and Cl, chlorine, right? So let's just write it down over here. Okay. Now, remember, in the way, way back, right, when we were first learning chemistry, we actually learned how to make these compounds, right? We took the charges in the upper right-hand corner, and we crisscrossed them down to get the subscripts, right? And we, and we called it a compound. But now, all we have to do is find those charges. We have to do the opposite. So we're going to take our subscripts from our compound and crisscross them back up. So Ti, there was a secret one here, right? And then Cl4. So I had my two subscripts. This one really was chlorine's number. This crisscrossed up to give me a negative one. And I say a negative because remember, the element in the back is the negative charge. The one in the front is the positive charge. Not all the time, but 99% of the time. There's always exceptions in chemistry. This four crisscrossed back up to tell me that titanium Ti was a plus four. Okay. So it could be as simple as that, but we just have to double check. So let's write it out. Ti, titanium was a plus four. That's what we got. And the chlorine was a negative one. Now, all you have to do is you just have to um, see if one of these abides by the rules. Because if we're doing it this way, technically, they should abide by the rules. And what are the rules? The rules are knowing the trends for the oxidation state on the periodic table. All right, so everything in group one generally wants to be a plus one, wants to lose an electron. Anything in group two is a plus two. It loses two electrons. And then we have trends for these groups as well. So like 15 or 5A, this group right here want to gain three electrons when making a compound, gain two, gain one, and then noble gases, they don't do anything. Now, titanium's over here, and I don't see any charge for him, right, or her, or, or them, right? Um, so I can't really go by our trend there, but I know that chlorine over here is a negative one. And look at that. Cl is a negative one. So if this trend is cool, that means that this trend, or not even, that means that this is the correct number as well. So that means that you got both of them correct. So titanium was a plus four. That means that it uh, lost four electrons. The plus always represents losing. And the negative one for the chlorine tells me that that chlorine all four of them, each one of them gained one electron. And I just say E negative for electrons. And that's it. That's your answer. Pretty easy as that, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh, chem questions and to hear my lovely voice, even though I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. Let's ace those tests and quizzes and all those homeworks. I believe in you guys, all right? You guys can do it, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.